What 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 closer girl? Listen long, long enough if you can love me. Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. Hi, how are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing great. I'm doing fantastic because I have a new scalp. We need to go ahead and talk about this hair. But before we go ahead and talk about this hair, of course, I need to ask y'all a couple questions. Do a couple things for me before 2023 because I'm hitting 100K in 2023. I'm not playing. You help me out by hitting the like button, subscribe button, and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post. Now let's go ahead and get into these wig details. I wanna say thank you to Arabella Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Can you believe that she's a closure? So this wig is the 5x5 Closure Water Wave Auburn Brown 33B wig. It is 18 inches long and it's 100 and I wanna say it's 150% density. So it's not super thick. It's like a natural density wig. It has two combs no adjustable straps in the back and it has slots for piano key elastic band because this wig is a closure wig it is super easy to apply but also this wig is super affordable so baby this is no must no fuss that's what i'm saying as i said in the beginning this wig is a closure wig as you can see girl Hold on, you can see the tracks, friend. Now, if you are interested in this unit and you wanna see get more details about this wig and what this wig looked like after bleaching the knots, washing the hair, and how I applied this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the wig application, but first, I think I wanna go ahead and tip my lace already. Well, let me put on my base first. Let me take a sip. <laughs> Before we do the base, I do need to lay down some baby hairs and I left my gel in the bathroom. Oh no, I got some right here. Thank God for my travel bag. I'm gonna use my, what this is like my travel gel. <laughs> my bags are still packed from two weeks ago. It's the olive oil gel, y'all already know what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down these baby hairs in the front. Actually, let me start, oh girl. Oh girl, the baby hairs are crunchy. Oh no, I don't even know if I can do this. Girl. I need to cut my baby hairs too. Cause these is way too long, honey. Way too long. Y'all know I don't like ear bangs. It be giving ear bang. I lay the baby hairs down because they're supposed to act like edges. Even though this hair is a different color, my hair is so fine and so thin, girl. You wouldn't even be able to tell. So baby hairs are down. While those dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig grip. Let's go ahead and toss her on. Boom, bam, thank you, man. Oh, why is it wet? Pop this on. This is my little quick ball cap method with no ball cap, period. Oh no, boom, there we go. Okay, so I wanna try on the wig just so y'all see what it looks like after washing. So let me see what the wig looks like. Oh, I feel like a superhero. This is what it looks like. This is 18 inches. I guess that's about right, right? We need to tip the lace because I'm not, I'm not playing these reindeer game. Actually, the lace looks like it won't be too bad, but it's trans. I think it's transparent lace. And me and transparent let transparent lace. We broke up. We're not friends. I don't like her. It don't really work for me. I definitely need lace tint. You already know how I lace tint and what I lace tint with. If you don't know, I'll let you know right now. This is the Flawless Illusions Lace Tint Spray in the color medium brown. I love using this stuff, but but the caveat is their shipping is bad. So if you do want to order this stuff, you may not get it. What I'm going to do to apply this lace tint is I'm going to use a little brush. I'm going to spray the lace tint onto the brush and then I'm just going to do a little magic that's all so i'm gonna spray over here y'all get the point i'm gonna mock it and i'm going to turn the wig inside out and i'm just gonna distribute the color yes is this the right color yes medium brown i don't know why i always have to double check focus on the front now transparent lace i think works for certain skin tones but it ain't transparent for me the lace feels very very soft and then i'm gonna turn the wig 
on the other side and I'm just gonna hit the front a little bit. Hope it doesn't dye the hair, but if it does, girl, what? <laughs> Do I care? No. Okay, so that's all done. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my blow dryer. This is the Dyson blow dryer with a diffuser and I'm gonna use this to dry the lace or to set in the color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set it on high and warm and let it set. So next we can just go ahead and plop back on the wig. I love that this wig does not have adjustable straps or a comb in the back because it's not gonna hurt my head as bad. Cause sometimes some wigs be pressing my button at the back of my neck. So I'm trying to figure out, should I do a middle part or side part? Cause we got enough space for both. So we can do a little bit of side part on a, on a closure. Why am I smacking like that? So I'm gonna go ahead and use my ZLA Hairline Master Wax Stick. Girl, it's a, you can use whatever wax stick you have on hand. Beeswax, whatever you want. I don't know if you should use beeswax, but girl, use some wax. Okay, so I'm gonna take the wax stick and just add it to the hairline because we, we about to flatten this thing. One good time. Not hair in my mouth. I'm gonna take my Andis Hot Comb. You can use any hot comb, girl. If you got one on the stove, use that. Just be careful because Ain't no rhyme or reason to that. <laughs> so this is my Andis Hot Comb. I think it's like 20 bucks from Walmart. Maybe 20 bucks from, um, I was about to say Instagram. 20 bucks from Target or YouTube. Not YouTube, Amazon. It's really affordable. I'll leave a link for it down below. But what I'm gonna do is flatten the hairline backwards. When my wigs are like not going backwards, like they just look, like wiggy on me. Okay, and I'm just flatten it up in here too. Oh, I know for sure that I done burnt. Oh, baby, that's hot. Oh no. So we're gonna pull the wig forward and see what she's looking like now. That's so much better. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, I think I'm gonna do like just a little bit. I'm not gonna do harsh plucky, but I'm gonna take my tweezers because don't they look a little thick to you? I don't know. Like some of these hairs did fall out. I'm sure of it, but the hairline is giving very much like superhero and I don't like that. Let me take this comb and I'm just gonna comb out like the excess hairs and hope and, hope and pray that it did something. I'm gonna go back in and flatten the hairline again. I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put this wig on, girl. I'm not even playing these games. This is a five by five closure, and we need to treat it like that. What I want to do is just go ahead and cut off my lace next, and then we can apply the wig. Then we add some mousse, girl. Then we done. I feel like that's quick. I'm gonna cut the lace using my any shears, and I'm just gonna cut in a zigzag sort of motion or shape or what do you call it? Cutting a zigzag direction, shape. Why am I losing words? There we go. Ooh, did I cut off some hair? No, ma'am. Oh, that looks good glueless. Wait. Y'all know I'm not doing a glueless because I don't play those glueless games, but it does look good glueless. We're gonna go ahead and use the Eben Wander Lace Bond, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the forehead and stick it to it, girl. It's, it's real simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the wig back. The good thing about lace closure wigs is that it just feels like it's one and done. Instead of dealing with ear tabs, you're just dealing with lace from temple to temple. Cause ear tabs, I told y'all every single time I gotta deal with an ear tab. It's a battle. <laughs> dealing with ear tabs. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the wig. Hold on, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. You can't apply it when it's too wet because I'll have, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Hot chocolate on my forehead. Don't want it too far, too close up because that look crazy too. Yes, look at this thing on down. Ooh. See, that's why closures are the way to go. I'm sorry, 13 by four frontals but closures are the way to go. Okay, so the wig is laid down, girl. All we need to do is a couple of baby hairs. Now, when I do baby hairs on five by five closure wigs, I intentionally do baby hairs to cover up this little, this little moment right here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and part out some baby hairs. Y'all know I like my baby hairs real small, real little, real tiny. Cause they're supposed to be baby hairs. But how am I gonna cover that up? You see that? I'm gonna cut this down. And I like my baby hair short, but it does need to be just a tad bit longer so I can cover up this thing. So, what am I gonna do next? I need got to be glue gel. Where is she? So what I like to do next is use got to be glued gel. This is the invincible, invisible kind. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down this baby hair. Ooh. Okay, swoop de doo You know what I'm saying? It's doing something. It's doing something. There we go. If the wind blow, you may see a track or two. But choo choo girl, I don't know what else to do about that. <laughs> I still kind of feel like it needs to be a middle part. I do, cause I don't like how this side part is looking. Do the same thing on this side and lay down the baby hair. That's a thick baby hair, but we gonna keep going. I'm laying down the lace, I'm melting the lace and laying down the baby hairs and in the meantime, I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting because I feel like this hair first is gonna end up looking flat if I don't cut it. And secondly, y'all know I got a cutting problem. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut off the ends just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. You know what I'm saying? Even though I wanna cut off a lot. I, I think this would be cute as a bob, but I need to slow my roll because I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> Not as a bob, so. Let's just cut it here for now, right? Right. Since it's blunt, I'm gonna cut this part of the hairline. So I'm gonna cut a little triangle part. Take this hair down here in the front edge, like just the front edge part, and I'm gonna cut that. So I'm gonna cut downwards at an angle. And I'm gonna do long, I need to do longer layers. Like I need to keep dragging the scissors down. Is that, did that do anything? I don't feel like it. So I'm gonna take some hair up in the front. Cause I feel like I got most of these hairs up at the top. I'm gonna angle backwards. Take some of this hair at the top and then Chopping again. I'm gonna section this hair away and I'm gonna go through the sides. I'm just gonna take this hair right here and I'm gonna pull it forward and I'm gonna cut it. And I feel like that'll give me all the layers that I want, right? Or at least I hope. Pulling it forward and I'm angling. Downwards. See how much fuller this side is than this side? I mean, obviously, this side is thicker, but it has like more, you know what I'm saying? Does that even make sense, what I'm talking about? It, it do look better. I don't care what nobody say. I'm gonna see if this side looks better after I do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna do a little cutation, and then I'll be back to add the mousse. It. Like I feel like it looks a little bit fuller and that's why I have wanted So next all we have to do is add the mousse because it's a looser 
curl texture i feel like it's best for me to use the shea moisture coconut hibiscus frizz free curl mousse but i'm gonna use this uh curl mousse and i'm also gonna use you already know my evolve 572 brush to comb through the curls now because this hair is a finer texture i feel like i don't have to work in small sections but i don't know <laughs> But I'm gonna section this hair away and I'm just gonna work in hopefully no more than six or eight sections because I'm really just trying to get these curls encouraged and then move on friend and I'm gonna take some mousse I need to be careful I got my little band-aid on but I add some mousse to the hair I really want to see what these curls turn out like okay and then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna comb through the curls to get them encouraged. Now this hair is wavy, so I don't know if it's gonna do the same thing as my curls, but it's gotta do something, right? Oh. Girl, this is like a light wave. Oh girl, where the curls at? Come on, friend, do some. Shake a leg. So that's done. I feel like it's curling up a little bit. It's waving. So I'm gonna move through the rest of the hair in the same way. Just gonna work in really large sections because I don't feel like it. Let's just keep working through the hair until all the curls are curled up. I wanna see how curly it gets because I want curls, girl. I want waves. I want like va ba boom. So let's keep going. Coming. this is the finished look though i love it i was it was touch and go friend it was touch and go this really did come together real nice like look at it i think it's so pretty i'm gonna show you what it looks like in the back hold on hold on <gasps> my eyelash is coming off girl it's about to fall into my eye oh girl not it just popping off like that wait what this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. The curls are gorgeous. I really do love it. It's the waves because it's not really a curl. It's the waves, but I'm living for the waves. What, what, what closure, girl? The hair is really, really soft. It just needed some moisture because it was a little bit dry. First, pulled her out of the box, and even when I washed her, it needed like a little bit of moisturization, but now it's like bouncy, and it needed a trim. So... Pro for me is that it's easy to apply. The lace blends very well. It's like a nice, it feels like a nice quality lace. I don't know. And it was easy to style, girl. You can cut off the lace, pop her on, and go. The cons are the hairline seemed a little bit, it looked less realistic, so it needed a little bit more of a plucking. I feel like I could have plucked this a little bit more. The hair was a little bit dry and yeah, I think that's it. Like the rest of it, the wig is cute. Like this is a vibe. 
I like this vibe. What do y'all think? Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below. I would like to say thank you to Arabella Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you are interested in this wig, I'll go ahead and leave a link for it down below. But of course, before you walk out the door, girl, just it's a little goodie bag on the side of the door. It has a coupon code in there. Pick that up. It's just after the holidays and what we not doing is wasting money, okay? Because we already know wasted it on people we didn't even like in the first place. <laughs> I liked everybody I'm on gifts for though. I'm playing. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you. As we close out 2022 and move into 2023, I want to make it abundantly clear that I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for, you, for the time that you take out of your day to watch my videos. I'm grateful for your comments, your likes, and even just the watch, girl, when you don't say nothing at all. I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. Um, either way, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Clink, 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 clink. Oh, no way, I do a kiss. I don't be knowing what order I'm in. I got a drink in my hand though. Hair on my fingertips. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, what was that? I'm gonna go